good afternoon. Solidarity, I trust. You ready? Yes, thank you, sir. Um, thank you for once again for giving us the opportunity. Once again, my name is Derek Manns, foot shoulder, foot shol soldier in, 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 in solidarity, organizer. And on my right is Mario Scrocamp, ICT head of solidarity um, industry. We, don't, we didn't prepare a presentation for today. I think it's more just of a reflection on what happened the last two days and what, I, what we would like to suggest. Should one analyze the last two days regarding the discussions taking place, it can be interpreted that what, it was a matter of what Section 8 of the ECA says and what, in, what that interpretation of local loop and bundling entails. If one listens today, all of a sudden it is a question of maybe policy reform. Having said that, it is um, solidarity is a labor representative organization and therefore our role is quite clear and on record. We will act once again as a watchdog during this, um, during this process and therefore will like to participate in the working committees. In what, what role we will still need to decide. However, saying that a balance should be struck once again between job security and job creation. We will also further continue to engage relevant role players within the industry. If I can just add um in observation of the last few days, uh, I think the concern from our side is that we see a divided industry on, on this issue and, and one can understand why that is. It's all about money in the end, isn't it? Uh, but I think uh, our environments where we operate, we were masters at collective bargaining. And we see where parties focus their energy in the same direction, everybody moves forward. But if you've got opposing forces, nobody goes anywhere. So it's maybe a call on the industry to, to start looking at working closer together and the ways of doing that we, we can talk about. But it's important if we're all going to go forward, we all need to focus forward. I think in South Africa we've got the situation where we're moving from a more labor intensive market to a, a knowledge intensive market, specifically in this industry. We organized in more than 400 companies in the ICT industry at the last count. Um, we see certain patterns and that's why we're not convinced in terms of certain submissions here that uh, a downscaling within telecom will create jobs. We see a downscaling of jobs in the industry and there are various reasons. Obviously the world economic situation is, is an impacting factor but we also see companies moving certain of their platforms overseas, outsourcing those or moving them to Dubai or India. And one of the factors that is uh, definitely identifiable there is a skills issue and I think that's something that will link and in the end we cannot get what we want if we don't have all the skills we need in South Africa and we need to develop that. And I think our organization is already looking forward into, into that process. Uh, we're putting into place a 150 million rand uh, development center for academic and technical training but that's cross section across all industries not specifically to this industry. But in the long term, uh, we can have as many plans as we want, we can have as many reforms as we want, but we also need to, to look at developing skills for the future, but skills that come from within South Africa. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Solidarity. Do we have any uh, questions from the floor? Thank you.